Okay, I'm going to put regular uh, PL259 connectors on each end of this uh, stub so I can just plug one end into the antenna and the other end into a T connector. First thing is, is there's a, an adapter sleeve to match the size of this clock. This is um, RG59 by the way, uh, if I haven't mentioned it before. Uh, I would like something heavier, but this is all I had. The reason I like RG59 though, other, rather than some other 75 ohm coax, is it actually has a copper shield here, you'll see in a minute, and a copper center conductor. So the, the adapter fits on first, and the outer sleeve of the PL259 goes on, and then we'll attach this PL259 here once I get everything uh, stripped back. I'm going to cut this um, outer shield back so that I can fold it around this adapter. So I just want to cut through the insulation here but not the, not the shield. I, do, I just made a mark and I'm going to lightly cut through the shield and I'm bending it over here to just kind of stretch the shield so it pulls away and I can see the copper below so I'm trying to minimize damaging that copper shield. So the next thing is I'm going to take this copper shield and fold it back over this adapter. This won't matter quite so much because I'm going to end up putting some solder on here too. You'll see. Okay, like that. Whoops. Going to go to the about there, so I'm going to cut this back to about there. Okay, if you look at this, you can see the copper through these little holes. I'll put some solder in those holes to solder the copper to this outer shell here. So actually, before we go any further, probably I ought to take an ohm meter and check between here and here and make sure we don't have any shorts. Okay, we're good. Now I'll end up uh, soldering this up.
By the way, these are uh, silver plated PL259 connectors and they um, solder up very nicely. Uh, unlike some of the nickel plated ones, you'll buy the cheaper ones. So I would recommend buying uh, silver plated connectors when you get them. Okay, so there's a center conductor. And I'll, I'll clip that off. I just want to check it again to make sure I didn't short anything out before I go any further. Looks good. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and solder up these um, these holes so it'll connect the shield to the outer case of the PL259. And I'll do one of them here on camera and do the rest off so that uh, we don't take so much time. It takes a little while to heat this up. In fact, I've got a large soldering iron here or soldering gun that makes it a lot easier. If you try to do this with a small soldering iron, it can take some time. There. And I'll show you what that looks like before I do the rest. Okay, finished up soldering those holes. And it's still a little hot. I'm going to cool it down, then I'll clean up this. I'll clip off this and clean up this tip here. It's got a little extra solder there. Okay, I've clipped off the excess wire and cleaned up that connection so the excess solder is scraped off cut off so it'll plug in nicely. So that one's finished. Put the outer case on there and it's ready to attach. So I have to do that three more times. I'll cut these cables to length and attach three more PL259s and then we'll be ready to hook these up. I've got uh, two loops mounted to this temporary mast at this point and I'm going to lean it over on that ladder and hook up this phasing harness. So the phasing harness is all made now. I don't have the right T-connector, but I've put something together that will work temporarily until I get the right T-connector. This is a BNC with some adapters here. So I'm going to go ahead and tilt it over and get this hooked up. I'm going to go ahead and uh, tape this on over here, keep everything tidy. In fact, in a minute I'll move the camera over here closer so it's easier to see.